Welcome back for the seventh episode of Fleet Racing Tour. Last month we travelled to France and the city of Marseille for the 49er and 49er FX World Championships. Top athletes, Olympic medalists and newcomers to the class were there to represent their nation and attempt to claim a place on the podium. Three critical days of qualifying are followed by two days of semi-final racing and one day for the finals. The competitors had little room to recover from mistakes and the spectators had plenty to feast their eyes on as the frisky 49er and 49er FXs fly zip along the course. The addition this year of being a part of the class had considerably boosted the number of participants at the event. It also showed that it's not by chance that skiffs are one of the most popular, if not the most popular, of Olympic classes. This month we're taking a look at something slightly different to the usual sailing boats as we enter the realm of kite surfing, and more specifically, kite course racing. There are both differences and similarities between kite surfing and other Olympic classes. Kite surfing is often compared to windsurfing, and although there are many similarities, there are still many differences. In kite surfing, you have the riders racing on tiny boards and reaching great speeds, with places changing on the race course frequently. The sport is fast and exciting to watch, a great spectacle for the viewers and fans, although that's something both sports have in common. It is often in debate as to which sport offers the most speed and what the prospects are for both in the future, but one thing's for certain, kite surfing is seeing a surge in popularity and its qualities as a sport are shining through. For our next episode, we'll be heading to Australia and the city of Perth for the last event on the kite racing calendar for 2013. It's the Kite Oceanics and it attracts some of the top riders from around the world. It's a show that no one will want to miss and it should see the kite racing circuit go all out with a bang. Held in Leighton Beach, the much-anticipated thermal wind, known as the Doctor, will offer some brilliant conditions for a top-class event. So, we'll see you next month with another action-packed event. Not only will we be bringing you the latest kite racing news, but also the latest on all things Fleet Racing Tour. So, don't miss it, and thank you for watching.